How's it going, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. We've got some footage from our locals. Uh, we do have Tom back on the Grimmon pile. And we do have a relatively new Beelzemon player using kind of amalgamation of the two starter decks. Pagamon as the opener. We do see an Impmon in hand, a nice 5, <laughs> five mil on deletion. I'd probably like to see the Iron Marco play to just pass back, but you could also just play nice and aggressive play out a second Impmon. They did have an Imp X in the back as well. Although it would have been nice to see the Iron Marco because it would have helped them just find a couple more pieces. Just going to build a Greymon X in the back and then a Cool Boy to pass back one. So realistically, swing this. It is indeed going to trash one, two, three. Nothing to delete. One, gain a memory. And two. And then probably just swing it again. It's going to hit a cool boy. It will live. Although it does bottom deck three pieces, which is kind of nice. You could go Imp X, or you could just go Iron Mako. Yeah, so not bad. Does find... Oh, we are missing a lot of level four pieces. But... I guess if they wanted to next turn, if this imp on lives, then you can go imp. You could go imp X over it. Finds the witch. Okay, yeah, that's why. Swing over it. I'm gonna mill three more. Steal a memory. Mill up to three more. I'll be curious to see if the, this has the ban list. Wizard Mon still is gonna steal turn. Which one? And Slinger does not delete anything. It does indeed get the mill. Alright, so pretty solid. Oh, they're gonna have to do impacts in the back, though, if they want to do the rookie. I th think you hard slam impacts, sir. Alright, let's go for the draw instead. Still no level 4. This is a very clogged hand. Do you just drop a rival's barrage? Oh, actually, no, you don't even need it. A slinger will just straight up kill. So, nice board clip. Oh, the pre-release cool boys for this. You know, let me know in the comments if you are an X antibody player and you do play cool boy, the coolest of boys. What is your favorite version of cool boy? Do you prefer the original with the X antibody stamp? The pre-release, I guess, technically is like a higher rarity version of that. There's the EP4 where there's no X antibody, but he's nice and large. And then there's the gold versions, participant and top four. Now, what's your favorite version of the coolest of boys? Oh, what's your favorite version of BT3 Impmon as well? That card has like seven reprints as well. So it looks like we are basically just crashing rookies into security. Playing the Balmon isn't going to have any float effects, but it's still a pretty decent, decent place to be. We chipped away three, but Cool Boy is setting up quite nicely. I do see the oh with the raid there as well. That's beautiful. Gonna go X antibody into it. We're gonna swing most likely at security raid to change the target, which should get us a Taikamiya. Okay, so raid is gonna uh, raid is gonna change. Gonna go into Monogram on X antibody off the X antibody effect. Okay, we are actually just straight up not gonna raid instead. We are just gonna swing straight at security, which is gonna be play first of the Iron Marco, then we will have another one. Uh, they need the Immon here, because I wonder what the level 4 count is. Well, I'm on insecurity. Slinger is going to almost definitely pop a 5, but Greymon will keep it safe. Trash two sources of the same type. Oh yeah, and we have to go Agu X here, so we do actually have to get rid of it. It's going to go into Black Wall Grey, which will then delete both those Iron Marcos, which is pretty rough. And uh, he is also, <laughs> I think last time we saw him in the video, it's uh, the Arata Common Black War Grey. One with no foiling, but does actually have the correct text. I actually forget what the Arata text is. I think it's something to do with like Dragon Kids or something. I, I forget exactly what it is. But both those teams cleared, a nice clear board. I think it is the downside to have... If they'd gone for... If they'd gone for Iron Marco earlier, then they would have been in a position where they would have been able to go Impex to bring back these fours. But now with no protection, 
The Rivals Barrage is going to pass over 5, but does clear the body quite nicely. Uh, on search, Agumon. So one that searches an Omni piece in the rest of the line. I send a Yuya to the bottom. There's quite a few different tamers here. We've got the BT12 tamer, we've got the Yuya as well for just like the the one of protection. We've got Red Tie as well. A whole bunch of different tools in the toolbox, speaking of. Gonna play this, choke to one, is gonna give the Agumon blocker. Uh, I don't know how many cards we have in trash though. Also, I don't even know how many Beelzemons we have in trash. I think we've only got... We've only got the two old secret res, which aren't fantastic. Yeah, we've only got the secret res in there. Hasn't really been able to selectively mill the good Beelzemons. So he's gonna most likely swing. Yeah, because he's choked into one. He can't... He can't go into Impmon here, so he's going to swing, he's going to walk into Beelzemon from Trash. Because it is Beelzemon, not Beelzemon in name, so it does have to go into the level 6. If it goes straight into Blossom, that would be insane, but I mean that's what the starter deck, not starter deck, the uh, EX2 uh, Marco is for, if you get that timing right. So we're going to walk for 3 costs instead of 4 into Beelzemon whilst attacking, which is then going to blow up the... Blocker, and then Yamon is going to let you mill too. Gonna swing, hit the tie, no one to give, but then as we now change over turns, go to three off the tie, and then give Blocker to Agumon off the tie, and then evolve for two, gain back a memory, and gain two memory back off the tie. I forget that it does that. Very, very solid. Who needs no gear? Again. Vaccine X antibody. Double cool boy pop and I see some Gaiomons. Do we, we do have a black wall grey, so we can go for some nice board clear here. Gonna put X antibody underneath now. I'm just gonna go straight into Metal Grey on X antibody to get the sec plus one and also the 3k boost. I, if you're gonna Gaiomon and get Blitz, I guess it doesn't matter. This one's not the Blitz one though, I think. Yeah, it is the one that just says you and I, let's fight. And then we're going to warp into the new Gaiomon at the end of its turn, which then is going to allow it to Blitz. And you get the D-Digivolve. Does that have Piercing? Alright. He is not going to be going... In, he's not going to be getting the uh, Piercing. But with the board cleared, and this being the hatching turn from Raising, he's basically set up for... A pretty much nigh impossible situation. At least we don't have like a second body on the board, but a one cost choke. Very, very gross. And it's pretty cool that you can go Gaiamon into Gaiamon. You like, you don't have to go straight into the Blitz one. The new one lets you play that sort of D Digivolve or play that uh, security burn and then also D Digivolve when you then go into the next one. Grimmon bots can be kind of boring, but I think the the, the Gaiomon like top end is very very cool. I actually don't know if he's running Raid or Greymon here. You can see we're definitely short of level fours. All of them either end up in security or being milled, which is not ideal. Uh, warp into Omni X off of this one, which will then pop that final card of security and then swing for game on this one. Get those effects resolved, and he even keeps turn as well, which is kind of crazy. All right, game two. Alright, and all the guns are set and we are ready to go into game number two. A couple of upside down cards, but it is what it is. We'll have the imp mods start things off. We do have all the warp imp mods, so not quite as aggressive a trashing set. Great opening start for Greymon on this one. Black or Grey on the first check, though, at least is going to clear an imp on. Three 
security picked up, and I actually kind of like that. Yeah, sure, it passes over three, but you've already identified that they are off to a kind of a rough start. Oh, yes. Oh, we did have to roll this back. I caught this. Uh, there was no purple sauce, thanks to the Imon getting popped. So, um, they weren't able to use the Rivals Barrage. But it's okay, we run it back. They had enough memory to drop an Imon, then have it off the purple. So, they still get a lot, but it just means that instead of uh, Virus Greymon, they just have a regular one. And to be fair, that works out better. The virus Greymon, very, very strong. The Vaccine X Antibody Greymon is still pretty useful. Just still chump rushing things. Uh, we do have the egg at least, so we can de slinger this one. It's going to pass three. But when your other option is a slam a seven, I think this one's going to be pretty rough. Going to play the seven. Antibody. Gain one off Cool Boy. Do we have a five? We do have a five. And we have the X Antibody, so we are going to go for the 3k sec plus one. Do you even need to go Gaiam on here? Oh, I think he's digging for a Tamer. Alright, we are going to raid and we're going to go into Green One X Antibody. And we are going to get that piercing. Ooh, here's the rivals. Yeah. Kind of unfortunate. Greymon X Antibody does give it protection. So either way, Gaiamon was going to be a pain. It's going to burn one and then go into the other Gaiamon. Which then is then going to have sec plus one. So swings for two checks. Yep, swings both. And then one, two, three, four... We're going to pick up the wizard, but we just lost our last rookie. So, passing over three memory. And did not draw it into a rookie. We don't have enough of the slinger. Yeah, GG's. Greymon box. Going to beat it out. I think they are just a couple of fundamental mistakes, but as a new player, you've definitely got... Uh, there's a Beelzemon has a lot of intricacies that can definitely trip you up in the long run. But if you did like seeing the Greymon box and Gaiamon put in work, make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.